Oh no, I just fell in love. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Greetings, internet. Welcome back to another vlog of my channel. Sorry. I have something to share, something new that I'm doing that I actually like, I can't believe I'm saying this. Like, I can't believe that this is something I'm doing now, but I'm going to hot yoga. I went to my first class yesterday with my friend Mia. It's core power, core power yoga. It's hot yoga, but I did hot yoga sculpt. So it's not just yoga. I was scared of yoga because I don't consider myself an extremely flexible person. And I kind of have a hard time following instructions when it comes to like poses and like the mind body connection of like right foot to left ankle and like all that stuff. It really trips me up, but yoga sculpt, is a fusion of sorts where it's like there's a lot of like stretching and like yoga type moves but weights are involved and you guys know i love weight training or i've gotten to be pretty good at it so it was like the perfect blend of a little bit of like cardio squat type things like punching like all different movements but it was such a good sweat plus you're in a, a 90 something degree room, I think it's 90, I think. I don't know, I'm still a newbie. I thought it was going to be terrible. I thought I was going to hate my life. I thought I was going to pass out and none of those things happened. <laughs> it's kind of remarkable when you prepare yourself for the worst and it ends up being like fine and you're like, oh, I survived that. Didn't expect that to happen. So anyway, I'm going back. <laughs> I'm going back to my second class. I bought a yoga mat yesterday, literally, because I went to the class. I borrowed their stuff. If you go with a friend that's a member, you can go for free. They get like a buddy pass. And then once you sign up, you get a free first week. So here I am starting my free first week. And at the end of the week, if I'm still loving it, I'm gonna sign up fully. But yeah, I bought a yoga mat. <laughs> And I'm like thrilled to be doing something new. It's just like, it scratches that like brain itch of like, wow, I really thought I was gonna be bad at that and I wasn't. Like it just, it feels so good. And it was a really good workout and my butt is so sore. Like I woke up, got out of bed and I'm like, oh my God. Like it didn't feel like I was really, like I, I was sweating for sure, but I didn't feel like I was doing, like I wasn't lifting heavy weights. I was doing, I think I got a three pound, set and a five pound set of weights so nothing crazy and i was like oh i'm probably not going to be as sore as i am from like my heavy heavy workouts like my weight workouts where i do it with my trainer but i'm sore <laughs> but not too sore to the point where i can't do it again which is nice like i can still like go about my day and not feel like you know i can't move so anyway cannot believe i didn't try this sooner so many people have been telling me about this core power stuff or just like hot yoga. My aunt's a hot yoga instructor. Like a bunch of people have been telling me to try this and I just, I've been a hater and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I've been a hater, but I think I'm gonna start to kind of restructure my workouts in my week. I'm saying this like totally jumping the gun. Like I could go today and not like it. Last night was just like a, it could have just been a high and like maybe I had a good instructor or something. I don't know. Um, but pending, I love it today. I think I might restructure my workouts to be like three days a week, hot yoga, and then my two days of personal training. And because I do love my training and I, I'm getting in a good rhythm with my trainer, but I feel like I need to throw some cardio and some like more stretching into my week and like just something different. Cause I feel like you get, when you're doing the same thing, you get kind of in a rut and you just stop seeing progress. I was actually talking to Jack yesterday before I went to my yoga class and he was like, are you excited? And I'm like, you know what? It's good for the soul to be bad at something. Like to be bad at something brand new, to even allow yourself to potentially be bad at something is so good for the soul. Like so remarkably good because you know, if you're just cruising through life doing the same stuff every day and like, you know, being good at everything, like it's just, the, where's the challenge, you know? So today I'm going to potentially be bad again. At something. I mean, I wasn't like incredible yesterday, but it was, I, I could keep up. It was more just like learning the words, like the terminology and like the, um, 
the tempo and the cadence and stuff which I'll get down through time and making sure I'm drinking enough water throughout because it is hot yoga so like you can get kind of lightheaded at times if you don't drink enough water so anyway I'm gonna fill up my slim water bottle with like some sauce on it I had Indian food last night when I got back and it's like on my water bottle so I got this slim water bottle from Target and it's like the Stanley dupe but apparently not as high in demand like have you guys been seeing this stuff about Stanley's getting like like causing riots it's just it's crazy and the best part is the studio is a five minute walk for me literally so there's no excuses like I will never be late and before I go over to the class I'm actually going to compile a grocery list because I have two recipes I want to make this week in the crock pot I want to do a hot or not hot just honey garlic chicken I don't like super spicy things that might be a hot take pun intended yeah so I'm gonna do a different variation of this recipe I found in my um, cookbook that my mom got me for Christmas it's just not a hot honey chicken, honey garlic chicken, just a honey garlic chicken. And I'm gonna do like a rice with that, so I'm gonna get some like instant rice. And then I also wanna do a sweet recipe because apparently you can make sweet things in the crock pot, so I'm going to do a banana bread, which I know I can do like in the oven as well, but I kind of am like intrigued. <laughs> it's like two and a half hours in the crock pot and I have a gorgeous uh, banana bread, so I might make that this week too and it's gonna be a good week. I feel like we're cruising along, like through January, we're making it through. It feels exciting that February is like around the corner and there's, I have a lot of things going on in February. I feel like January has been my quieter month in terms of like projects and travels and February, March, April, May, like those are like intense with plans. So I've been just trying to like savor the chill, okay, savor the calm, slow January, it's fine. We don't need to like kick it off with a bang, you know? Yoga, grocery, finish work, record podcast, and that is my day. Okay guys, let's get suited up and go do yoga. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I'm so sweaty. That was such a good workout. I feel like I'm gonna have to start I can't even get my coat off. Like, I'm still sweaty from the workout. <laughs> I need to turn this inside out and like Clorox it or something. I don't know what I have to do to keep my coats like not sweaty without having to dry clean them every time. If you guys have pro tips on that, let me know. Anyway, such a good class. We found out at the end of the class that the instructor, it was her first ever class that she's taught. I guess to be an instructor of Core Power, you have to go to like a certain number of classes and like do the training and stuff. And I guess today was her first ever time teaching. And I had no idea, I would never have guessed because she was just a natural. I just got all my groceries for my stuff this week, my crock pots that I told you guys about. So yeah, I'm gonna get cracking on some work and eat something and shower. It's gonna be a good day, but I just have to say Core Power, my God. That was a really good class. I feel like it, I was a little bit better today than I was yesterday. I feel like I had less energy yesterday. Granted, it was Sunday yesterday that I did my first class and I was kind of a little bit hungover. So I've never been a class girl. Like Core Power, this is something so, so new for me because I've never been a team player in the sense that like, I've always either done solo visits to the gym, like going by myself, or I'll go like with a friend once in a blue moon to a soul cycle class or my personal trainer where it's one-on-one. -on -one. And I, I've really thrived in like one-on-one -on -one or like me, myself and I types of workouts. But this is really new for me and kind of cool that I'm getting comfortable working out around other people. I, I mostly was just like in my head worried that other people are gonna be like looking at me and judging me in previous other kinds of classes. But in Core Power, no one cares. It's kind of dark. So no one's even like looking at you. The cardio, they like make it extremely dark. So when you're doing your jumping jacks and stuff, you don't have to worry about people like critiquing your jumping jacks or the way your body moves or anything. So it's great. I'm like such a fan. 
and it makes you drink so much water because you're sweating so much that you like and you're it's hot so you drink so much water yeah okay anyway i'm gonna stop talking about core power now and yeah let's get on with the day all right you guys so i have like 0.25 seconds to film this little outfit clip before I have to run out the door. I'm heading out to a shoot at this jewelry company called Faina Jewelry in Soho, shooting a little reel for them. I've been perusing their site and I'm very excited to try on some stuff. Might try on some rings just for fun. Um, lots of sparkly stuff on their site, so I'm excited to sample the wares and film a reel for them. I already started the intro here and now I'm going to go to their showroom. But this is what I'm wearing. They did not specify a tire, so I was like, you know, you can't go wrong with a pair of blue jeans and a funky button down, <laughs> like a white button down with a little bit of pizzazz. These sleeves are so fun. Um, I'm sweating because it is so oddly 50 degrees right now. I don't know what is going on. It was like 12 degrees last week, so I'm sweating, but I need to like spritz on some perfume before I go. But yeah, so these jeans I actually just got yesterday from J. Crew and they're kind of like a trouser sort of thing. They're extremely flattering, true to size. I got a size 29 in these. I'm usually a 29 or a 30 if there's no stretch. 29 if there is stretch, 30 if there's no stretch usually. And these have the perfect amount of stretch. So even the back, there's like no gap. So I'm loving them. And the pockets on the front is really what sold me on them. I just loved how they kind of look like sailory, but not like too sailory, if you know what I mean. Anyway, top is also from J. Crow. The lipstick is Smashbox. I'll link it down below. And then I just waved my hair. Oh, these earrings are also J. Crow. I got these yesterday too. Um, I might have to take these out for the video, but I figured I would waltz on in there with some accessories, no rings, because I'm assuming I'll be trying stuff on on my hands and I just painted my nails last night, this like light nude just to have it on there. But yeah, okay, so I have to go. Got to run, got a jet. I packed my tripod, packed my light, phone, phone keys, and I'm gonna call an Uber and head over there. So yeah, I'll try to film some clips of me there if anything catches my eye. And yeah, I have some calls the rest of the day and that's showbiz. Okay, let's go. All right, so I just got back from the jewelry event to this very large Marshalls package outside my door that I wanna open. Also, I like very quickly changed into pajamas because the outfit I was wearing was really cute, but wasn't the most comfortable for well, like the shirt. I feel like those structured button downs that you tuck into pants are never like super, super comfortable. I mean, they're structured, so. I actually have match made, embroidered on this sweatshirt from an Athleta event, but speaking of the podcast, we talked about Marshalls on the podcast, and I guess they were like, okay, we hear them, we're gonna send them stuff. Candles on candles on candles on candles on skincare. Oh my God, I love the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This stuff is so good, and um, oh my god. I'm dying. Okay, it's a picture of Adam Colby and I <laughs> in a frame. This is the most thoughtful thing. Katie Colby and Adam. Hi, Katie Colby and Adam. We love that you mentioned having fun shopping at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Yeah, we talked about TJ Maxx and how 
we just learned recently, or I just learned that in the UK, it's TK Max instead of TJ, it's TK. We're such big fans of the podcast and wanted to share our love with this basket. In this basket, you'll find everything you need to survive the New York City winter. We hope you enjoy. I'm screaming. They gave us these Laneige water sleeping mask. Masks, plural. So these sheet masks for each of us. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that. Gotta stop itching my eczema. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh my God. It's hard in the winter. The eczema challenge is real to not itch when a patch just shows up. I tend to get eczema flare-ups pretty bad like right here on my wrists and they get so itchy and I have to like resist the urge to itch and like if I'm doing it subconsciously Jack will just like whack me because I don't even realize I'm doing it and I'll just be itching and he's just like stop that which is good to have him around for that but when he's not around I need to hold myself accountable. Anyway, so the jewelry event was really, really cool. Very sparkly, very lavish. I felt very rich in there <laughs> because I, so I tried on probably like 150 rings and like other things, I tried on like some necklaces, some earrings, but mostly I think that they're big push is for engagement rings. So obviously nowhere close to being engaged, but I feel like it's always important to know, like just at least in the back of your mind, what kinds of engagement rings you'd be interested in. So when the time comes, you're not like freaking out. And I always thought that I wanted like an oval cut ring. I'm probably, there's probably like a fancy name for it. And I just learned so many fancy terms for rings. And I, I don't remember what the oval, I think it's just an oval. Oval diamond has been like what I've kind of gravitated towards when I see photos of other people's rings. I'm like, oh, I really like that. But then today I tried on a lot of, again, don't know the technical term for this, but the circle cut where it's just a round circle on a band. And I really liked that cut, but I also really loved the teardrop pear cut, the teardrop cut like that. Oh my God. I tried on this five carat teardrop cut ring. And I was like, oh no, I just fell in love. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. This is expensive. Oh my God. Um, I probably, oh my God, I would never have like a five carat ring. That's like a later conversation, the carat number, but the shape itself, I really loved the teardrop shape. Thought it was really classy. I would definitely do a gold band over a silver band, like a yellow gold. I'm more of a gold girl right now, but I also loved the silver or like the platinum or the um, white gold. I don't know. I have a lot to learn still, but I learned a lot and it was really cool. The founder or like the owner of the jewelry store was there. He talked about like the environment and how like he wants it to be a super like open, um, not super like intimidating space. So it was cool to hear about that and like what he wants the brand to be like and the jewelry store itself. They had matcha. The jewelry brand gave me a little gift. Ooh, oh my God. What? <sighs> Look at that. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's like this little gemstone with a halo. Oh my God, this is probably really expensive. Wow, that is so pretty. I think it's kind of like a reddish color. Oh wow, this will be really good on Valentine's Day. I'm gonna wear this on Valentine's Day for sure. Okay, incredible. Anyway, I learned a lot this morning and a lot's going on in here. I gotta clean up a little bit, gotta eat some lunch. I'm starving and then I have a client call. I'm doing some video work for a members club. So I'm doing a little briefing call with them, um, with my clients. This is a client project separate from like my influencer work and I'm excited about it. Sounds like it's gonna be a fun team to work with. And then what else? Do I have any plans tonight? I feel like I don't have plans tonight. Today's my off day from working out. I'm giving myself a rest day, but tomorrow morning I'm weight training again. And then I have one core power sesh booked on the weekend. And then I have already booked Monday as well. I'm like literally obsessed with core power. I just, I, I don't know where I was, where I've been all these years without knowing that it existed slash not trying it. So. Anyway, okay, cool. I'm going to eat something because I'm clearly scatterbrained because I am famished. So I need to um, consume something. I'm tired. I'm tired. My social battery is dead. Okay. So I'm waiting for a client to call me right now, but I'm 
drinking this electrolyte water. Well, it's water that I put an electrolyte little tablet in. It's called a Noon, N-U-U-N, and it's in Triberry. Um, hydrates better than water alone. A lot of stuff. All I know is electrolytes, increased hydration, and it tastes really good. Mmm. This berry flavor is very good. I think it's really easy to drink. And it's very pretty, like this pink. Check that out. Anyway, so it's shaping up to be a pretty chill work day the rest of the day. I have no idea what I'm gonna do for dinner. I think I'm gonna walk myself to the grocery store maybe in a little bit and see what sparks my interest, but I'm full from lunch. I just reheated some chicken that I had in the crock or I had had from the crock pot and I just reheated it and ate it with rice and it was really good. And that's on that. I'm feeling very chill today. Hey guys, good morning. Good morning, good morning. I am breaking out so badly on my forehead right now. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but it looks like they're on the way out, so that's a positive. Anyway, I'm about to go work out. And after that, I'm getting my hair done and I'm going to cut it just a little bit. So you see right now, it's like to here. I'm going to cut it to my collarbone, which is right here. So like that much off, a couple inches maybe. I've just been itching to cut it. I don't wanna do anything crazy. Like I used to have a literal bob, so I'm not gonna cut it that short, but I just wanted like a little bit of a change. So I'm going in to get the trim and then dyeing my grays as well, because my grays are coming in again hot. I go in and dye my hair, or my grays specifically. I don't really dye the rest of my hair, just my roots every six weeks. So six weeks is now, it's crazy. Time absolutely flies. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's rainy and disgusting. Again, I need sun. I think I'm gonna go insane. I need sunshine. So hopefully tomorrow. All I know is Jack is golfing tomorrow and when Jack golfs, it's usually because the sun's out. So <laughs> he's like my weatherman. <laughs> I think the sun's coming out tomorrow, hopefully. Anyway, I'll show you guys the after of the hair because I think when I come back from my workout, I'm gonna be very frazzled getting ready to go to the hair salon. So I'll show you guys the after once I'm done. Hopefully these unwanted visitors on my forehead calm the F down. <laughs> I don't know what, I woke up and I was like, whoa. So I don't know, I guess maybe I was like touching my face in that spot a lot when I was working on something yesterday maybe. I don't know, I have a terrible habit of touching my face when I work, so that could be it, but it's just skin at the end of the day. It's gonna be fine. The rest of me, I feel moisturized at least, and that's a positive because I usually have really terrible dry skin this time of year, so you know, you win some, you lose some. Okay, let's go to the gym and get my hair done. Okay guys, the hair has been trimmed and I'm loving it. Can't tell if the lighting is terrible right now. Probably is. We're back at collarbone length, which is my sweet spot, I've decided, in terms of haircut length. And my grays are gone once again. I think she probably took off, I don't know, like two inches-ish. It always feels like less, or no, it feels like more than it actually is because my hair is already short to begin with. The OGs remember my hair used to be down to here for like my entire life up until, up until 2019, 2020. Oh my God, no, 2021. Yeah, 2021, my hair was down to here. Um, and then I cut it to like here, from here. And I was like, oh my God, my hair is so short. I was so wrong, because it wasn't short. It was just not as long as it used to be. And then from here, I cut it to like here-ish. And then I went to here, collarbone. And then I went shorter than collarbone last summer-ish or spring. 
and I was like, okay, that's too short. But we learned, we lived, we learned. It didn't look terrible, but it just like felt too short for styling and stuff. Like it wasn't as fun as this length because I feel like I can do more with this length. So anyway, we're back to collarbone, the sweet spot. When it comes to the cut, I always ask her to go a little bit longer in the front pieces. Cause I feel like when I style it, it just like looks better that way. It's a personal preference. Um, but yeah, so back from the hair salon, I actually brought my laptop, so I did a ton of work while I was there, while my color was setting, which was really great. So I did a lot of that. And then I have a couple more things to do on my to-do list. Then I think I'm getting drinks with my friends later. I think. Jack's coming over to drop his golf clubs off because he's golfing in the morning and he's going to soccer practice. He's like big sports guy. So I think I'm going to, after he leaves, go and get drinks with my friends. I think we're gonna go to like a jazz bar or something. So that'll be fun. I have no idea what I'm wearing. This weather is very confusing. It's like, I don't know if it's cold. I don't know if it's hot. I don't know if I can wear short sleeves or long sleeves or whatever. I hope this was an interesting vlog. Hope it wasn't too boring just being in my apartment for most of it. It's just like, it's cold. And I don't feel like doing that much outside of just, you know, working and feeding myself and doing the essentials. I'm like, what else do I do? You know? So anyway, okay. I will see you in the next vlog to be continued.